Welcome to our course on Revit MEP Electrical 2023. Essential tools for the design of electrical installations. This time, we bring you a step-by-step -step course for the design and analysis of basic electric power distribution systems in Autodesk Revit. During this course, and aside from observing the typical approach for designing a basic electrical installation, we'll also observe one of the most recent features of Revit MEP, known as analytical power distribution systems. This new approach will allow us to quickly obtain preliminary information about the power requirements of our project without the need of placing any electrical component within our model, hence saving us a considerable amount of time while also giving us great design flexibility. So, before we start working with the placement of electrical components, one of the first aspects we'll work with is the development of this type of analytical power distribution system. And once we have concluded with this design aspect, and you become capable of fully using it in your projects, we'll move on to a more typical approach regarding the development of the electrical installation. Namely, working with three of its families for the placement of the different electrical components that should integrate a basic electrical installation. Therefore, is during this process that we'll observe how to carry out the disposition of panel boards, transformers, switches, and other electrical appliances. And of course, how to properly integrate them into a circuit. Specifically, we will learn how to define the electrical circuit that connects the electrical appliances to the panel board and the utility, as well as how to create the necessary switch systems. Furthermore, and beyond the mere placement of components such as lamps and other equipment, we'll take a quick look at finding both the power and illumination requirements of a given area, so we can design our system according to American regulations. However, worth mentioning that you could use this same methodology for any regulation that you may need. Now, following the design process of our electrical installation, we'll also observe how to generate the corresponding panel schedules also allowing the program to automatically carry out the balancing of loads. And once we have completed the overall design of the distribution system, we'll take care of approaching the placement and addition of tags so we can properly identify each component in our installation. Finally, if you have any doubts regarding the tools and subjects covered during this course, remember that you can always reach our support center for assistance. So, all these topics and more will be widely covered in our course on Revit MEP Electrical, Essential Tools for the Design of Electrical Installations.